Um, and yeah, I'm really pleased to be here tonight to share some of the recent uh, practice works and projects of DNK that Erin just introduced. Uh, so Ricarda, who is sorry not to be here um, and able to make it tonight, um, but she is here in all of the work with DNK. Ricarda is a fashion designer and researcher. And as Erin uh, mentioned, Ricarda and I work together to produce practice-based research. And that's a way for us to look at and critique fashion. Uh, this first image is from the Australian Institute of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Studies, and it talks about the possum skin cloak. And the possum skin cloak is something that we've sort of come to understand more deeply through this project. Um, the slide's going quickly. Uh, so tonight I'm talking through a suite of works within our DNK um, Wear Out project, and these works include Wearing Out Sovereign, Wearing Out Fashion, and Wearing Out Mode. At times, what I'm saying tonight will match the images, and at times it won't. So please feel free to read the slides, listen, and uh, read as you wish. So wear out asks the question, what happens when something wears out? It looks at wearing out as a gradual process that is hindered by repair or amplified by hard use. It considers wearing out at a time when clothes are rarely worn, that time being now, to being a state of being worn out. And through this project, we have observed and analysed clothes from many different periods, exploring their wear, use, essence and qualities that are lost in new clothes today. So in this project, we're really interested in looking at the relationships to local complicated histories and dress practices in Australia before you saw the day dress from the collections here, um, worn by Eliza Perrin in the 1860s. You also saw an image called New Clothes from Old, which was actually a manual um, that was brought out in 1942, helping people to remake new clothes from old clothes. The Wagga. Uh, the Wagga is a unique to Australian quilt typology, originally made by shearers, really closely referencing the possum skin cloak and a really interesting exchange of knowledges at that time. And the use of old clothes in this instance, scraps and rags were part of the various layers used to consolidate warmth at a time of precarity. We've also explored through this project and field work done here at Sovereign Hill, uh, the identity and wearing of colonial costume in various different ways. We've worked with participants and seeing these costumes worn with contemporary clothes, which really highlights how the production and consumption of the clothes and how these evoke wearing and dressing practices has really evolved over the time. We produced a film that was shown as part of a state of fashion, ways of caring and practice, practicing solidarity conference in Arnhem in the Netherlands. And a lot of that footage was actually taken here on site and filmed within the um, costume department, as well as the Red Hill, photo Red Hill Photographic Studios, sorry. This was actually a 20 second film here, which might play now for us. In this project, uh, we produced a series of garment studies and costumes as DNK, and these were configured from readily available downcycled rags, the ones that you buy in Bunnings to help you clean up your paint when you spill it when you're doing some home makeovers. And to work with these rags, we sorted, arranged, and reconfigured them to ref, uh, resemble colonial dress parts. And these are some other examples here um, of that work installed alongside some costume dress from the dress archives here. So this series of wear out fashion included instructional prototypes. And as fashion designers, I guess, um, ironically, we're not really interested in making clothes. These essentially are items uh, that are made to communicate different aspects of what fashion might be and what it might represent and what it might be able to do. So they're designed to be used in workshops and as educational devices, in exhibitions, as displays and in performance to show alternatives to wearing and making fashion. In the work, uh, there is also a series of poems embedded and these poems are used to describe the garments. They're poems printed on the prototypes and they tell imagined stories of the clothes. They're constructed into cliche or well-known phrases of those who may have worn them, who may have seen them or encountered them, and they draw on other meanings and uses for fashion. And you might recognise the surrounds here. Uh, this is this work being presented as part of uh, Melbourne Fashion Festival cultural program last year. 
Um, I think the dress was right over there. Um, so with these instructional prototypes, they included careful material and make analysis. So we're really interested in unpacking the how you make of fashion and what we might be able to learn from previous ways of doing that for future ways that we might be able to sort of embrace some of the older knowledges, rework them and repurpose them into a contemporary context. The work has also been shown at RMIT Design Hub as part of a Wild Hope exhibition. And this exhibition, the work was uh, installed alongside a series of poems that were about the wrong sides of these prototypes. The wrong sides being made from a collection of sort of scavenged and found uh, textiles that had come from various different uh, domestic sources. And in this image here, you can see the wearing, the holding, the cloaking of the garment in both the right and the wrong side. So in fashion, the right side is known as the face or the printed surface of the textile. And in these pieces, each garment has been flattened to reveal its own tactics for wearing out. This quote here is derived from ChatGPT and a WordNet lexicon database and talks about a piece of textile. So you know that old cozy blanket you used to have on your bed when I was a child. These provoke different ways for us thinking about the work that arounds us, the fashion, the garments and the textiles. And this is an image of another interaction with the work uh, of a, a non-durable newsprint where these poems were collated and allowed for by participants and people joining the various different iterations of this work. Um, but I'll finish there. Yeah. <laughs>